Today we're going to take a look at something really interesting and that is coffee balls. These are supposed to be like an answer to the question of what happens with all the capsules that people are using with their Nespresso machines. So I got this one at our local store. It came with a whole bunch of these coffee balls and I thought let's just take a look at it and see how the machine works. How does the coffee taste? or rather maybe espresso lungo or whatever. And like what's inside the ball? Let's just have a look. Let's start by opening this up right away. My version is in German, so I'll translate a little bit. It says that you, this is compostable in your garden, recyclable packaging. So they're, they're really going for like the sustainability kind of aspect here. So you guys can put this together with me. Let's just have a look here. A whole bunch of packaging that we can recycle later. Looks like we got here one year extra guarantee. That's nice. So the design is in Switzerland, right? The company Coffee B sits in Switzerland, but is made in China. And there we go, that's a machine. That is pretty interesting. Actually, it looks kind of neat, kind of modern. It's got kind of like a, a bean shape there from the top, two cylinders here, the front and the back. The front like nose where the espresso is going to run out is interesting because it's it's a nice polished look. I think it's uh, it's plastic, yeah but it's a nice oblong kind of oval shape looks pretty interesting kind of matches here with the handle and i i think the handle is probably for inserting a ball into the machine and then on the back we've got a water tank of course what you've always got get the tape off of there and soon we can get started now i'm pretty sure i've seen james hoffman uh, test a machine like this one. I'm not sure if it was exactly the same because I remember this part. This right here is like a carousel where you put, yeah, just like that. So that slides on there like that. And then you've got balls that you put in here. What, just like that? Oh yeah, just like that. So this carousel just slides like so. We'll put some balls in the carousel, load it up, add some water, and see how this sucker works. And we got one last part here, which is the drip tray. The drip tray is made out of plastic. The top part is some kind of metal, most likely stainless steel. And it's nice, nice tight fit. So that's a, oh, okay. What's interesting about this uh, drip tray, by the way, is that you can adjust the height on there. So if you got your espresso cup here, put it right underneath there, that's fine. If that's a little bit too high, you can move it one lower. You can see there's two slots there. So I'll move that one lower and it fits on there like that. And as you saw me inadvertently pull out this tray here, it looks like we've got, this is for the spent balls. And then what's very interesting is it looks like it's got here a chute for water to go into. So if there's any excess water, then it's gonna go down into the bottom of this yeah, canister here. So let's put this bag inside. Go ahead and add some nice soft filtered water. So this filtered water, by the way, it's going to be certainly better than tap water. Where we live, the water's super hard. And this will at least get rid of a good amount of the magnesium and the calcium in the water. Another option that you have, of course, is to use some kind of like reverse osmosis water, or you can also use distilled water and add minerals yourself so that you are adding fewer minerals, but the right ones. And you can do that with these sticks right here. I got this from uh, Third Wave Water. That's an American company. And these are pretty cool. So you just add one of these sticks into some distilled water and that way you've got softened water, but still with some minerals inside. So that's nice. But in this case, I'm just going to use my Brita filtered water. Let's have a look at the control panel. For me, it's not totally obvious right away. Oh, what is that? Okay, I guess that's how you drop the balls in. And then like that must be um, espresso, lungo. And this is probably hot water right there. Now it's on and actually it was immediately on. You can see the lights here are 
illuminated already. Let's just uh, load up some balls and see what we get. I'm gonna start with these balls here, these green ones, Lungo Bio. Bio in Europe generally means organic. Nice packaging here, it's a zero waste fund with a QR code so that you can take a look and see what that means. So there's nine balls. I can feel the powder a little bit. Nine of these balls, oh, it smells pretty good. How do I load it up? Do I load it upside down? I'm just gonna put three in for now. Okay. And so I can drop them in when I need them. I would say let's also just measure out the ball, see how much it weighs and see how much powder is in there too. The ball weighs 6.1 grams. So that's gonna be similar probably to an espresso. The Nespresso capsule has five grams of coffee in there generally. Let's just split this open. Let's see what's inside there. So I think you can say it's actually just about all coffee inside. I was expecting it to be. It's just a really thin paper, a really thin like paper coating for the outside and actually the rest of the whole ball is coffee, that is pretty interesting. Yeah, so you can say that this thing right here is six grams of coffee, which is pretty good. And um, let's just make ourselves a Lungo and see how that works. I'm gonna open up the hatch here. All right, I'm gonna put a ball in. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And I think I probably have to press this down. Put my cup there, maybe I'll also Measure our output, and here we go. It's blinking. Uh-huh. I guess it's got several cycles, like a pre-infusion, would that be? Oh, huh, there's water coming out. <laughs> I must have done something wrong. That does not look like espresso. To oh, there comes the espresso. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, that one doesn't count. Oh, it goes up automatically, nice. Don't know if you could see that, but this lever goes back up automatically. That's really cool. Let me try it with another ball once. Close that up. And let's try that again. I think this time it's gonna work better. does have some kind of pre-infusion, that's interesting. Okay, there it comes. Now it's looking pretty good. Are you gonna stop? I'll stop you. All right, that's delightful. So anyway, there's our cup of coffee. I would call that an espresso lungo. And uh, I mean, we got 70 grams out, 72 grams. So that's like a, a one to 12 ratio. That's certainly not an espresso or a lungo even. That's more like a coffee ratio. Like coffee's like one to 15. But the taste is pretty good. I would say it tastes a little bit actually more true to form, I would say, than an espresso. Like an espresso leaves me just kind of wanting something a little bit more. Out of a coffee, this one is just relatively, is pretty well balanced. There's almost no acidity in it. I do get just a little bit of sweetness. You hear people talking often about clarity in coffee, which is like the, the distinction in flavors. I'm not so sure how many flavors I can pick out of there. Just a little bit of Bittersweet chocolate, maybe. Maybe a very small amount of, oh, I don't know. It just reminds you of something. It might remind me just a little bit of like um, an apricot jam or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a little bit of sweetness, almost like some, some kind of apricot marmalade. Um, 
But whatever the case, it's pretty interesting. And it's already turned off, by the way. This machine, I think, is built to be sustainable. So you got these balls that you see here, and they're primarily coffee. So you really can't compost that. I mean, the outside of the ball is just basically it's like a wafer kind of paper. So that's very interesting. You can just toss that right into your garden. Um, you can use it as like um, fertilizer for your plants. Yeah, that's very nice. And if it turns off immediately like that, then you're not wasting energy either. So that's that's a good thing. And the coffee actually tastes pretty good. I would say, in my opinion, I've had a lot of Nespresso before, and Nespresso can be decent, can be pretty decent. Um, with my very first try here, I would say that I do like this just a little bit more than the Nespresso because it gives me a little bit more flavor in this particular ball. Of course, I gotta do more, a lot more uh, testing, but that might also be because you do have just primarily coffee here. You don't have any you know, extra side flavors from the plastic capsules um, that you can get at the discounter stores or the aluminum capsules from the Nespresso. This is just pure coffee. All right, let's take a look and see what the spent capsules look like. That is what they look like right there. Still completely intact. That's interesting. Kind of spongy, actually. So yeah, easy cleanup too. And there's the water from three shots. What else is interesting is when you turn the machine on, there's a third button for water. So if you have tea, then I'm guessing you can just press the button, warm up some water for tea. Yeah. And that way I can make some water for tea. That's not bad either. Interesting is that it goes through the same process of the pre-infusion, the stopping, starting, stopping, starting. But yeah, there's some hot water. That's also pretty nice. Oh, and that one stopped automatically. Look at that. Very nice. Um, the water's a little cloudy because, of course, we just pulled the coffee. Anyway, that is the Coffee Bee Machine. It's not a sponsored video. We just saw this at our local uh, supermarket and thought that would be interesting to try out. Let's see how it works. So that's the unboxing and testing. And I think I'll press probably bring this to work and test it out over these next weeks. And maybe if you guys are interested, I can do like a, a longer term review. But in the meantime, that is the machine. All right, guys. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if so, give it a like. Check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.